If you do any type of drop shipping on the Facebook Marketplace, then this Chrome extension is going to make your life so much easier. What's up everyone, Paul here from dropshippingtitans.com where I teach regular people just like you how to start your first successful dropshipping store. And in this video, I wanna introduce you to my Chrome extension called the Dropshipping Titans Marketplace Helper. And this Chrome extension was designed by dropshippers for dropshippers who are dropshipping onto Facebook Marketplace. And it's really designed to make your life a lot easier and to make the listing process for Facebook Marketplace go a lot faster. So let me show you exactly how it works. So here I am inside my computer and here's an item that I'm interested in drop shipping on the Facebook Marketplace. Now normally when you create a listing you have to get all the photos, download them all to your computer, upload them here to Facebook Marketplace. You have to copy the title and change it, make it better, paste it over here. You have to pull out a calculator, change the price here, mark it up enough to cover all your fees and to make a profit and copy the description and paste it in here as well. But due to the power of the Dropshipping Titans Marketplace helper, which you can see up here, if I want to give this thing a 1.5% markup, a 50% increase, I put in here 50%. You can put in whatever number you want here. If you want it to add in shipping or not, you can toggle that on and off. And I'll explain more about that in a few minutes. And you can always set the default condition, which I always leave as new and the brand is empty. Now down here, there's a template that you can add in for descriptions. So what I like to do is put in a little blurb that says new and never used, and then some other stuff. And then I want the actual description from Amazon. So that will plug it in right there. So once you set that up, all I have to do now is come over to the listing for the item on Amazon, click on this drop down, And because I already have a tab open that has Facebook Marketplace blank listing in it, all I have to do is select tab number one and it's going to copy everything and bring it over. So as you see, the images are here now. It's also pulled in the title. It's also marked up the price of the item by 1.5 and then it rounded it and it will automatically choose the condition as new. And as you see, the templates right here, new and never use, then here, Here's the full description. So you see, it took that no. fast in order to list the item up really, really fast and really, really powerful with this Chrome extension. Now, if you are interested in it, I will have it linked up in the description as a paid Chrome extension, which I'll talk more about in a second. But I wanna show you some more use cases of how you can use this. So it doesn't just work with Amazon. Here it is on Walmart. So this item on Walmart, $17.44. Now with Walmart, you get free shipping on most orders that are over $35. So ordinarily, you would not get free shipping on this item because it's under $35. So in that case, for this Chrome extension, I would toggle on this switch and set the default shipping price at $5.99. Now the Chrome extension can detect the shipping cost of the item for, for some items where it says it on the page, but if it can't detect it, then this is how much it will add, whatever you have in here. So because Walmart usually just charges $5.99 for shipping, that's what I throw in there. But if you have something like Walmart Plus where you get free shipping, then you don't want it to add in the cost of shipping. So in that case, you would toggle that off. So in this case, what I'm going to do is on this dropdown, instead of selecting tab number one, I'm going to select copy to a new tab. And what that's going to do is it's going to open up a new listing on Facebook Marketplace. And then it's gonna go back, grab all the details from Walmart and then paste them in with that 1.5 times markup there. So very, very fast to get this all in here. Now, the other website that this works with is AutoDS. So AutoDS, if you're not familiar with what it is, it's the software that I use to help me manage my stock levels and my price levels or price changes on Facebook Marketplace. So look here on AutoDS, you see I have like this hammer right here. This is an item that I have listed on Facebook Marketplace. Now, if this item goes out of stock on Amazon or the price changes on Amazon, because it's here in AutoDS, AutoDS will send me an email to let me know that there's been a change. Then I can go on Facebook and make those changes. So it's great for helping you make sure that you don't sell an item that's out of stock or sell an item that's gone up in price and you didn't know about it. And if you are interested in using AutoDS, I will have an affiliate link to it down in the description. But the reason I bring it up now is because the Chrome extension that we have is integrated with AutoDS. So check this out. This is an item I added into AutoDS. If I click on edit for this item, and by the way, I'm here in the all products section. So come over to the products, find the item you wanna add to Facebook Marketplace, click on edit, and then click 
click on variants. So you might have multiple variations here, choose whichever variant you want. And now I'll open up the Chrome extension. And in this case, the price increase decrease percentage, I'm going to put as zero. The reason for that is because right here, AutoDS has done the math for us. It's already marked it up. It's already marked it up enough to cover Facebook fee and enough to make a profit as well. So this price right here is how much we actually want to sell it for in Facebook Marketplace. So we don't have to mark it up. So again, I'm going to click this. We'll do the increase as 0%. We won't do add in shipping. Here's our template right here. I made this one a little bit longer and then that's where the description will go. So now you'll see this button that says select tab to copy to. I'll do tab one because I have that one open. Now it grabs everything from AutoDS, including the photos, brings them all over. And as you see, the photos are uploading right now and then keeps the same price because I had a 0% markup. And then here's the description right here. So the really cool thing about this is that even if you want to work with a supplier that the Chrome extension doesn't work with directly, you can still do that through AutoDS. So for instance, the Chrome extension as of right now doesn't work with Banggood. This is the website where some people drop ship from. But what I could do is I can take this product and add it to AutoDS by clicking on add product, make sure the supplier source, I'll choose Banggood, add that product in here. And then as soon as it's in my AutoDS account, I can just do the same step, come to the item, click on variation, and then upload it directly into Facebook. So that means that this Chrome extension through AutoDS will work with Amazon, AliExpress, Banggood, Walmart, Home Depot, Wayfair, Costco, Overstock, Costway, Etsy, Lowe's, eBay, Target, CJ Dropshipping, Sam's Club, Bidaxel, and Gearbeast. So like I said, if you are interested in checking out this Chrome extension, then click on the first link underneath this video. That will bring you to the Google Chrome store where you can sign up. Here it is right here. All you have to do is click add to Chrome over here on the right, add extension. Once it's added, you can then click on this puzzle icon on the top right and go ahead and pin the Titans Marketplace Helper so you can always see it right here. Now, the first time you get it, you will have to sign up for an account. This is only gonna work if you have a subscription. So luckily, if you click it, all you have to do is click where it says renew or purchase subscription and there's a link. So you can click on that link. And then once on my website, just click on subscribe now and then click on proceed to checkout. Now on this page, you have to enter in all your billing information and you also need to create an account. You do wanna remember your username and password because you will need to sign in every time you wanna use the Chrome extension. So once you actually sign up for an account or create an account and pay for a subscription, then what you can do is click on the Chrome extension and click on login here. And we'll then ask you to log into your account. And then once on this screen, just go ahead and log in. Now you will know that you are logged in because when you click the Chrome extension, it will start to look like this. It won't ask you to log in anymore. And then you're good. You can close this tab. You don't have to stay on that tab in order for the Chrome extension to work. Congratulations, you've downloaded it. You've signed up for a subscription. And now you can start using the Chrome extension exactly how I just showed you. If at any time you have any issues with the Chrome extension or need any help or support, then you can always open up the Chrome extension, click at the bottom where it says submit a ticket, and that will bring you to this page. Go ahead and submit any question that you have or suggestion that you have if you want it to work with a different supplier or a new feature that you want added. Go ahead and submit it here and we'll try to get back to you within one business day. Please give us those 24 hours though. And if you ever want to cancel your subscription, that's totally fine. I get it. Then just down at the bottom of the Chrome extension, click on my account. That will bring you to this page. You can click on the left where it says subscriptions. And if you have an active one, there'll be an option to totally cancel it here. You can also see here all the purchases that you've made. You can see those here, all the payments that you've made and your payment methods on file as well, as well as your account details if you want to change your password. So that's it. I hope you guys love the Chrome extension. If you want to try it again, first link underneath this video will be a link directly to the Chrome extension. And the second link will be my affiliate link for AutoDS. If you guys have any questions about it, you can always leave a comment underneath this video. If you're excited by this Chrome extension, make sure to hit that like button down below. Thanks so much for checking this out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.